What's up my queens? Welcome back to the channel. It is shorts season and I've been getting a ton of requests for Amazon shorts, seamless in particular. If you guys have been around, you would know that I love to do this series, Amazon leggings under 20, but seeing as the weather wants to play nice lately, I thought I would do a shorts version for you. So yes, everything you see is under $20. Holla. So these shorts are gonna be first impression and I'm actually gonna take them to the gym for you to test them out, test them properly. I thought it'd be interesting to see how that goes down. <laughs> so definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because together we got this. Let's go ahead, Bay. are you ready for this? You ready to check out some shorts? I cannot wait. Maybe get some for you? We'll see. Mm -hmm. All right, we got four unique shorts here. Grab bag style. <laughs> I still looked at which one I was grabbing. Okay. So this is from the brand Vigorix. This is in the color light gray. And what stood out to me, big reason why I had to get these was the sporty band. Super unique. I don't see this kind of look often. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna like these because the length seems pretty realistic for me. I really love the neutral color. I didn't realize the contouring on the back was so extreme. This is either gonna really work for me and make my glutes pop or it's gonna be the death of my glutes and it's gonna just sandwich in my tushy. So we will figure that out later. But I love the ribbed band, nice and high-waisted, just how I like it. My concern on the back is that there's no like middle breakup in between the cheeks. So I'm kind of concerned maybe I might have a uni butt but let's just, let's hope not. This was $15.99, 16 freaking dollar dollars for this. So just from first impression, it looks like it's pretty worth it. It seems to be pretty durable, not too like paper thin, like some shorts you get in, because this is why we do these reviews. Sometimes it just ain't what they try to make it out to be. So this is why we got to review them. I love the deep rib that they have. They have like a real intense rib on the side. This whole thing just looks super sporty and it's totally my vibe. The light gray has a little bit of like a warm tone in it. So it almost looks like taupey, if you will. It's a nice soft warm gray. That's what I'm gonna go with. All right guys, little behind the scenes info, Bay swiffering the floor because our floor is so nasty and he doesn't want it to appear in the footage when I'm trying things on. Yeah, um, that's how we roll, right? Only clean when it's gonna be seen. <laughs> Fun fact, I had ordered this exact Amazon haul of shorts last week. Everything came in. I was trying. Who that? <laughs> Three out of the four shorts that came in came in as an extra large and I'm usually a small. So when I was trying it on, I didn't realize it was like three times too big for me. And all I did was tell Bay, I was like, ooh, this is gonna be nothing but a shit talking video because the band was like out to here. I was so mad at how bad it was. Then I realized none of this is in my right size. How did that even happen? I think I got really click happy and didn't pick my size. But shout out Amazon Prime, free returns, two day shipping, hey up. So this is definitely like low compression, that's for sure. I feel zero constriction, no real quad muffin, thank goodness. No dreaded CT, yay. I really love how high it comes. Look how high this is. This is at least a five inch bend. I guess you could roll it down a little bit. For those who would prefer it, like. Mm. That actually okay. looks really good. Does that look good? Wow, like, oh my God. Trend, hello. Trendsetter. But I like the stripe. <laughs> I do have to say, I feel like I definitely have a uni butt in this. Um, You just need a raised seam contour and then we're good to go. I just need something that will just divide my cheeks and differentiate the two. I feel like this rib contour on the back right here, the shaded, kind of shrinks my glutes up just a little bit. So let me try something. Nice. I 
I guess that doesn't work because now it starts to look a little bit baggy. I really love the texture breakup the most out of everything. I think the design is what makes it worth it. I would definitely say this is true to size, but if you're in between sizes, definitely size down because it's low compression. You got some room, it's very stretchy. So final verdict in these. Kind of give me a little bit of a uni butt. Not gonna lie. They are so light in compression that it barely feels like I'm feel like actually wearing anything, which is good, but if you're looking for support in any area, whether it be the band or the actual girth of the shorts, then I would steer away from these. But if you really love that super like low to no <laughs> support in your shorts this is the one to go with again if you're in between sizes definitely size down even me i'm not in between sizes i'm usually a true small i would probably still size down in these for sure other than that i really love the design i think they're great they're a little on the short side so keep that in mind so yeah not too not too shabby for under 20 seamless shorts not too shabby okay um so what the fuck? I thought this had a scrunch. Oh, it does. I was looking at the wrong side. Okay. This is from the brand Fapre. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but it's almost like Parfait, but Fap Fapre. Frappuccino? Something like that. Do you know what this looks like? <laughs> yes, this looks like, do you even? All right, if it looks familiar, that's why. They got that color block, that signature, like, do you even look? The thing that stood out to me was that beautiful teal. Like this is such a nice summer tone. I have been really big into teals lately. It's high waisted, you know, I like that. And I really dug the fact that it has a scrunch butt. That I had to test out. I wanna know what you can do for my glutes, like for crying out loud. This is some insane contour. So I have a feeling, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that my glutes might just pop through the camera on this one. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Touching this right now, like this marl breakup is very like almost buttery soft. And then the rib texture is obviously ribbed. So you got, you got multiple feels here is what I'm gonna call it, multiple feels. And just straight up from looking at this thing, I can see right underneath that booty contour, that ribbed booty contour underneath, is slightly cinched in, so I think it's gonna lift my, my stuff. <laughs> Let's hope so. When I bought these, they were $19.99, and just checking now, they went up to $21.99. Why you do that? So straight up, these are, when I put them on, they definitely feel a little snug. I would size up if you're in between sizes. Yeah, they felt a little, a little to get up, but, but it works. I don't really like care so much about the front as I do the back. The back is where it's at. You guys, check this freaking scrunch butt out with this contour, this block contour. I don't think, I don't think my glutes have ever looked this good. This scrunch butt goes all the way down, like the whole length, and it doesn't stretch. Uh, there's no stretch in this scrunch. So yeah, it definitely feels like there's a little wedge bag there, but it's not a bad thing. I really like the color breakup. I love everything about these, actually. They're really good. They have a little bit of a quad muffin right here. They're slightly. That I don't dig. I don't dig the dig in. It's not uncomfortable, but yeah, it's digging in a little bit. Size up, maybe. So you have about a four and a half inch band here. I'm sorry, I I just, the pinnacle of these freaking shorts is this freaking scrunch butt. Dude, that's magic. That's freaking magic, dude. I see nothing going on right here. It's nice and smooth in the front where I want it to be, but this definitely, this rib design definitely cinches you in. I can feel right here how it actually pulls in a little bit. So if you're kind of insecure around these areas and you don't want that extra restriction around the thighs, 
then I would not go with these. But if you're somebody who doesn't really care, you just kind of really want to emphasize the peach and make it look as good as you can, then um, maybe. Okay guys, so my overall thoughts on these shorts. I love the fact that they appear to be 100% squat proof. That's a plus. I also love the fact that they do not roll up. Doing even jumping jacks, squatting, you name it, it's not rolling up. There's a slight band gape when I squat. Not the end of the world. I absolutely love the scrunch butt. It's not overly scrunched up my bum where I squat and it's super uncomfortable. It's definitely doable. It makes the glutes really pop. I think my overall concern with these leggings is the quad muffin, okay? Don't really dig that very much. I can see in the mirror where it digs in. You can see some of my cellulite underneath it, like where the band ends. You can definitely see. Like right here, nothing wrong with it, but it just digs in in an unflattering way for me. But other than that, these are really they're really nice, you know, they're really good shorts to work out in, the quality's there, and you can feel the wicking material, so I have no concerns when it comes to wicking sweat. I know these will hold up really nice. So even though they bumped the price of these up to $22, if it's not a concern, the quad muffin area, then yes, these are totally worth it, I would say. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is from the brand Muwaki. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Muhake. So, what do we got going here? Right off the bat, I can feel these are, ooh, these are pretty, pretty stinking thin. I think, yeah, you can see my finger through it just a tad. I don't think I need to tell you why I chose these ones, because they're the brightest ones that I freaking found on Amazon, pretty much. This bright green teal, told you. I'm liking those teals and the greeny blues. You got the smiley face contour underneath. Really simple, actually. The contour is barely noticeable, but again, high-waisted rib. I feel like there's really no compression in these whatsoever. <laughs> That's not always a bad thing, okay? Not everybody wants to sandwich in their glutes. Why do I keep bringing up glutes? Okay, I'm, I'm into the glutes thing lately. I've been working them out, hip thrusting. You know, I want them to be a little bit pronounced in my shorts, all right? Not gonna lie. This one, I just have a feeling because it's thin material that you might see a little something, something, both front and back, but I don't know. One thing I'm noticing that I didn't notice on the site, but I'm noticing it right now, is that the cuffs on the bottom here are very pronounced. You can definitely see them. They're the most pronounced thing on these entire shorts, actually. The most noticeable thing, but they're so low in compression that I don't think it's gonna, gonna give me a quad muffin. I don't think it is. So for my first impression, <laughs> It's a little bit tight around my quads here. This is actually the tightest part on these entire shorts. More compressive than the actual band. I see what they're trying to do. I mean, it's good because it definitely will not roll up. I just know it. But at the same time, it's just a little bit too much. It's definitely a lower moderate type of compression. Nothing crazy. No insane camel toe, but certain angles I might see a little something something if my legs are crossed a certain way. But there's no obvious camel toe. But I do gotta say, quality control, in your eyes, I actually saw a little bit of stain here when I pulled it out of the package, but I didn't know if it was just the lighting or something, but now that I'm wearing it, yeah. So it came in a little stained, and again, this is my first time wearing them, so it's a little something something. Were these used? Did they repackage it up and give it to Ashley Gata? I don't know. I think it makes the peach look okay. What do you think, Bay? Oh, it makes it look more than okay. Yeah. There's no like raised seam contour or anything. There's nothing in between, but I don't know. I feel like these are a little more flattering than the other ones. I definitely do. Yeah, yeah. It makes the peach kind of pull somewhere.
So what's the verdict, G? All right, so with these green babies, uh, super thin, no compression really at all. So I could definitely see like my cellulite through it. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Like on my bootay and the back of my legs a little bit, which is whatever, you know what I mean? Everyone has cellulite, it's all good. But for me, I feel like the material is just a little too thin. Even when you're sitting right here, look, it's like a little wrinkly. Yeah, it digs in. It's a little bit on the wrinkly side. This particular shorts, you can really start to kind of see and feel the cheapness. <laughs> These ones. It's not very squat proof at all. I mean, it's straight crack. Straight crack. It's um, like New York in the yeah. 80s. I will say it doesn't roll up though when you move. The band was pretty nice. It didn't gape or anything. The color is absolutely beautiful. But again, no squat proof, no compression. And when I moved around, I could kind of feel like any minute now, there's about to be a CT slip up. You know what I'm saying? Very thin material, so keep that in mind. So um, what, but what do you think though? Are these keepers or nah? No. No, I wouldn't be keeping these, no. All right, so the very last pair of shorts that I got are from the brand Fapri that I just showed you before. You know, Parfait, that one? <laughs> I guess Fapri is a brand that really loves their scrunch because this one has it too. This one is a big scrunch. This is down the whole booty crack type of scrunch. Not gonna lie, when I bought it online, the color looked a little more summery red, if that makes sense. In person, and I don't even know how it's showing up in video right now, but in person, this is totally a Christmas red. Jingle all the way. Not totally upset about that, but kind of upset about that. <laughs> That's just where my mind went, but this is totally cool in the summertime with a nice, you know, tan. You're gonna catch a tan, you're gonna wear some pops of red, you're gonna get all the attention, all right? That's what we're here for. The band feels nice and thick. Is this double lined? Yeah! This feels like it's double lined. Feels nice and compressive. So far, this one and their other pair of shorts, the one that looked like Do You Even, they seem like really high quality shiz. Again, you got that rib down the sides and a little bit of that cinched in looking contour. Mm. Under booty contour plus a scrunch butt. Well then, I think we got a recipe for success here. These were $18.99 and this did not change in price. Thank you. Woo, okay, so this is definitely more compressive than anything else. Like this has definitely a lot more compression. Um, still moderate, nothing high, high impact. The scrunch. Yo, the scrunch is insane. I think I've come to terms with the fact that I love a full crack scrunch. These don't dig in too bad. No crazy quad muffin, so it's acceptable to me. Bay says it looks like there's a G-string on the outside of these. <laughs> so if you like that look, make it look like you're wearing a thong on the outside of your shorts, go for it. If a main concern of yours is just like really emphasizing your glutes, these are steel for under 20. The quality is definitely there. I can feel it in the material. It's really soft on the glutes right here, as weird as that is, just soft material. And then the rib is obviously textured. But yeah, nice waistband. This is double layered, so you definitely have more compression in the band if you're looking for that. Yeah, I would totally say these are true to size. Overall, yeah. These fit me nice and snug, but not too snug. They are a perfect true to size size, I think. Okay, so overall, good quality right here. Nice and thick, you can feel the material is definitely wicking. I don't sweat a lot when I work out, but between the color and the material, you're good to go. There was no gaping in the band, that was good. Whereas the other one from this brand did have the gape, this one does not. Again, the scrunch is very comfortable. You can feel it, but it's not where it's like right up hurting you, <laughs> even in a very deep squat. It's very comfortable. Very squat proof too. So for a bright, crisp red, yeah, it's worth it. These were under 20. That's what I'm talking about. The glutes in this, 
Makes your booty look like a heart emoji. Here's what we got going. All right, so what I think, me personally, my opinion, it would definitely go, believe it or not, Christmas. <laughs> Christmas wins the day. Jingle bell. Jingle bell all the way, hey. The red won it for me. This is my top pick for sure. Worth the money? Yeah, I would say. Second would be from the same brand. All right, the quality speaks for itself. That's why I picked this one. This comes in second for me, definitely, yeah. Third would be this baby. All right, super casual. I'd wear it more or less for athleisure short shorts, hanging out. Not really to the gym, like the other scrunches that I would wear to the, the gym. These are just hang out, thin type of things. And then these, I wouldn't wear them at all. I don't really like them. <laughs> these came in fourth for me, which is such a shame because this is the color I was most excited for. But it's not all about color, guys. Sometimes you just gotta go with really, for real, what's the most bang for your buck, so. All right, guys, so that is it. Amazon under 20 shorts, testing them out for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it super helpful. Definitely gonna be doing more of these, you already know. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about these shorts, if you tried them for yourself. And also, what do you think of this new format that we're trying out here, testing them in the gym? I figure it's best to test like in the field. We're doing some field work here, if you will. So let me know what you think about that. I hope you guys enjoy it. We are gonna go ahead and finish the rest of our workout. Get it, get it. <laughs> Together we got this. Together we got this. I love you all so much, and we will catch you in our next video. Bye.